Okay, and to get, look at number 34 here, and uh, I'll show you what maybe your tutor did for you in a uh, basic way. So you have this data of heights here, okay, and you want to find the correlation. So what was found <coughs> is just, let's say I'm going to put down correlation equals equals would be better. Okay, and I'll put it in here. All right. So the correlation will be in this box here. You can dress it up so it makes more sense. You put the R, that's fine. So the correlation, as soon as you put equals, you get a function, which is an equation. And it just happens to be correlation up here. So it's looking for the first array. So let me show you what I just did. Is array 1. I click on this little gizmo here. And I just do the numbers. That's my first array and then click it on again you can see it's there that's a44 to a54 a44 to a54 and I'm gonna do the second one so it's going to compare these two one is on the x-axis and the other ones on the y-axis so you can see the B's there and that means I have my two arrays okay and it's 0.558 so that's the correlation and you should be able to interpret the correlation as saying that's about half. A good correlation is near 1 or a negative 1. That would be a negative correlation as well. It can go in the negative direction as well, and that's a strong correlation. In fact, that's the strongest it can be, 1 or a negative 1. If it's 0, there's nothing. So this is a little bit on positive side. You can see, looking at the line that you made, there are some points that are outliers from this line. Some are close. So it's about half of them are close to the line. That's what gives you this. So you can't really say there's a strong correlation. You should be able to interpret that. Okay, how is this graph made? Well, I'm going to put uh, get that out of here, and I'm going to make a graph by highlighting the two sets of numbers. Okay, and I'm going to insert a chart. Okay, insert a chart. This is right at the top the scatter. You have bar charts and so on. This is what you want a scatter chart. So that's okay. So, and that's what you have. Let me move it over. Okay. It looks like that. You can put the chart title you did. You put the uh, the, uh, the labels and the uh, units as well. That was great. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Hopefully, you know how to do that on your own. Okay, so now we have these sets of numbers, which look very much like yours. And so you have this over here, and this is what yeah, all these points look like. Okay, so it looks like we have the. Um, let's see, we had like 71, 69. See this first point, 71, 69. So it looks like you go 71 on the x-axis, 69 up there. Next one, 68, 68 over here, go up to 64, right there. That's that second point right there, okay? So that's what that is. You can put, and then if you put your, see what it says? 68, 64, so it says exactly that. And it says series one, that's your series one over here. So how do you get the line in here, okay? Well, you can see that there's some functions over here and over here and over here okay in fact chart title and all labels and all that stuff is over there see the labels and the titles and things like that but to get a point I mean a line a regression line regression line is this best line that was drawn here how did you get that you put your cursor right at the tip and you right click okay and it says add trend line alright so you add the trend line here I'm just gonna stop right there and you can see the trend line is added and so the trend line looks like that okay so it goes up and it goes up about a, a, it goes at a rate of 0.558 this is the steepness of it if it was one it would be much steeper in fact all the dots would be right on the line that's a, a correlation of one or in a negative direction negative one so there's a little bit of a rise here okay and if, in fact that's a slope if you remember from Algebra 1, uh, you had a slope of a line. Y equals mx plus b might f be familiar. The m was your slope. That's how steep it is. All right? The steeper it is, the stronger the correlation. Now, where do you get this equation? All right? Well, you can go on the line again and right click, and it says format trend line. All right? I'm going to go down here, go down here. It says display. You can display the equation on the chart. So display the equation on the chart, and I'm all set. And there's the equation. In fact, I'm going to move it so we can see it. Uh, if I can get it to move here. Let me do that again. Okay. 
So this is your equation, and that's what you had over here, on here. Y equals 27.6 plus 0.527x. So this x is your correlation, by the way. Okay, that's what that is. I'm, I'm sorry, no, the, the slope is 0.52, yeah, y equals mx, 0.527 is your slope, and x is going to be these points here on the x-axis, and y is the resulting ones on this y-axis. So when they say, predict that a brother who's 70 inches tall will have, okay, so if the question is, how big is the 70 person, so you put a 70 inch person, so a 70 inch person, you put it, and this is in the x, you put 70 in there, okay? So I'm going to do this equation. So let's see what uh, I have here. I'm going to um, yeah, I wanna, okay. I'm going to do this equation. You can do it on a calculator. So 0 0.527, 0 0.527. So 0.527 times. If I put 0.527, it might help. 527 times. Okay, let's go back to the graph because I have a short memory. 70. Predict it, who's 70 inches tall, 70. You put the times 70 in there. So times 70. So let's go back to that part up there. Okay. And it's going to be plus, what are you going to do? Plus your 27.635. That's the y-intercept from algebra. If you extended this way down to where 0 is, way down to where 0, it would hit the y-axis at 27. You don't need to concern, but it is part of your equation. So 27.635, 27.635, 27.635. Okay, if I put an equal sign, I get 64.5, 64.5. So that equals 64.5. So the answer, I'm going to put it here in case you forget, 64.5 is the um, height of the sister when the brother is 70 inches tall. So you would have to put 64.5 inches and so on. So you put 64.5 inches based on the scatter plot. It appears that the line runs through 64.5, which is fine, which is great. But you should use the equation to make sure that that's correct. Okay, so you saw that 70 here looks 64.5, right? It could have been 64.3, 2, 8, whatever, but it is exactly in the middle. And so you can verify it with using the equation, so you're right about that. I hope this helps you, and uh, let me know. Thanks.